The Arizona Science Center wants you to go places with their new interactive exhibit called Going Places. So let's head out live to the center to learn more about this, where we find Siri Cluster, who isn't dizzy from that chair <laughs> that we saw you in earlier. <laughs> How are you doing today? You know, I'm doing all right, Brad. I'm so excited to be able to open Going Places today. This is going to be fantastic. This is so cool because this is up a lot of people's alley of technology uh, working in a great way with science. Um, and you got it all right there. You better believe it. Uh, here in Going Places, thanks to our friends at Amtrak and Waymo, we've got more than 20 different exhibits here that talk about the science and technology of transportation. So everything from planes, trains, and automo automobiles and beyond. Yeah, I love it. You know what, I'm looking right now, you talked about uh, the Waymo right there. This is really cool because we just pretty much got announced that it is gonna be the first like driverless uh, taxi around kind of, right? That's right. So you see the local feature right here. So we're stopping first at our Waymo exhibit that we have talking about driverless cars. Uh, so this particular exhibit shows how those sensors work. You've probably seen them around town. Those cars have all this crazy equipment on top and around them. This is how it actually works all together. So things like LiDAR, here I've got a little bit of help. That's the question we get the most, right? How does LiDAR actually work? It's light detection and ranging. So folks who are familiar with echolocation, it's not sound, but light that's bouncing. So bouncing like that. How long does the light take to get back to you? And it's a really good explanation for how, again, all those sensors start working together to answer the questions like, where am I? What's around me? And helping to keep those cars safe on the road. This is so cool because, you know, I always wonder, I, literally as an adult, I was like, how do those computers work with so many on there? And as we see the car right now in person uh, that you get to see stopped and you get to go up to it and actually look at it up close. That's right. And, you know, again, my daughter calls this the car of the future when she sees it around town uh, because it looks so futuristic, right? And this is a chance for folks to get up close and personal, take a look at the car. There's an explanation of what all the sensors are on the car. And, of course, with the exhibit, you have a chance to experience what all those different sensors actually do, and it explains them a little bit further. So uh, this is going to be really exciting. And, of course, we've got so much more. Even So we go from driverless cars to things that we're even familiar with, like planes over here in our flight simulator. Christina's taking a little ride. Nice. What is this? Have you ever been in a plane? Oh, please. Have I ever been in a plane? But are we able to fly the plane? Is that what's going are, on? I say you might have been in a plane, but if you've ever been able to fly a plane, not everybody gets to do that. So here's a chance to be able to fly. It's our flight simulator. You get a first-person view behind the wheel. Christina is using the throttle and actually going through a whole... Oh, of course, our simulation just ended. She was having so much fun. Um, but you go over the city and you have a chance to fly right here. What? Where, I don't know. I saw the plane doing loop-de-loops. I don't know what was going on there. Is she okay? Whoa, what are you doing? Is she? You know, <laughs> yeah, first time driver, first time driver. She's doing great. But uh, luckily, yes, you can. I actually was doing it earlier and had a chance to fly the plane upside down for a while. So seeing the horizon, there was, you know, you thought I was dizzy yeah. on the uh, hovercraft. The plane got me going. So moving into the others. Oh, this is all right, so moving into the rest of the exhibition, we've got all different types of transportation back here. Other things that are familiar here in Phoenix, so you can take a look at virtual tra traffic control. So uh, taking a look at how engineers control trains and keep like metros safe. Uh, but we've got our recumbent bikes over here. So another thing that's super interactive where you can try out a different type of bike and take a race. So let's see, this is not the most graceful thing in the world, but I'll get on it. Um, has a totally different feel if you get on it and you can pedal and you can race a competitor on the other side and just have some fun with a little different type of transportation. So this is really cool, Siri. Now, how long is this exhibit gonna be around? So this exhibit is gonna be around through the end of the fall, right up until about the new year. So you've got, got a long time to be able to come and get it, but don't wait. Everybody always waits to the end, and then you never get a chance to come in. Yeah, okay, this right. chair right here, what's this all about? All right, so this by far is probably one of, eh, there's a lot of favorites in here. I can't help it, but this one is definitely one of my favorites. So this is the hovercraft. So uh, I'll ask you a question. Have you ever played air hockey? Yes, I have. All right, and is it really hard or really easy to move that puck back and forth? It depends if it's on or off. If it's on, very easy. If it's off and I've had a couple of beers, no. All right, so you got the trick right there. If the air is on, it helps to move that puck across. This is 
basically giant air hockey. So we've got a hovercraft here. If Christina tries to push me without the air on, Christina, go ahead, give me a push. You can see she doesn't go anywhere. I don't go anywhere because we need that cushion of air. So I'm gonna push this button down. We're gonna get some air underneath. And here we go. It's a little loud, but you can see how easy it is to move me around. And of course, it's really just a lot of fun to show how a little bit of a tweak and a little bit of engineering can help us go places. This is so cool. This is awesome, Siri, for everybody to get out. Okay, is this part of your mission uh, into the uh, Science Center, or is this extra? So this does have a ticket attached to it. It's $6.95 for members and $8.95 for general admission after your ticket. So once you're here, you can buy your tickets either on site, but we do encourage everybody to buy your tickets online at azscience.org. And you want them to buy them ahead of time because it fills up pretty quickly, right? Absolutely. It always helps make sure you've secured your admission ahead of time. So, perfect. Siri, thank you very much uh, for joining us this morning. That's really cool seeing that. It is called Going Places at the Arizona Science Center. You got to go check it out. And remember, you go to the website to get your tickets. So, all right, come on back. We got more mix for you right after this.